access main program grid. How the turntables have turned. I just wanted to be devil's advocate in this one and go back on the video of Studio One 7 release. I'm really trying to flog this for all it's worth. Anyway, um, I've got my energy drink. I'm ready to stay awake. So let's get this done and dusted. So I want to go over that blurry screenshot because I think I saw uh, Weasel Weaver Beats, Weaver, Weasel Weaver Beats, uh, a lot bigger channel than mine. Shout out to him anyway, he's pretty cool. But anyway, I I saw something on his video about two days ago and I noticed on a screenshot on a Reddit page about four days ago this. So this screenshot showed what potentially what that blurry thing is. Let's go back and watch a video just quickly. We'll just have a quick look, uh, McGregor. Gregor. We're also announcing new accessible pricing for Studio One Pro licenses starting today. A Studio One Pro perpetual. All right, so right there is where they had the screenshot. Now, if you look at the colors on the screenshot, and I've done an actual extract of this, but anyway, if you look at the colors there, they're very similar to what you see on the screenshot that I'm just about to show you. And comparing them side by side, you can see here there's a thing that's what looks like stem separation, and that's what the screenshot that I'll show you side by side now looks like but if you're comparing the two together they're very similar now i used a program and i don't know how this or what this does or where it draws whatever but anyway this is pick art and it's supposedly meant to remove the blur from photos and i'm putting my investigative hat on right now and i'm just trying to check out what this screenshot does so the thing is when i did that it actually pulled this which was exactly the same as the reddit one it pulled this from who knows where uh, and it showed me that and I'm like Man AI, I don't know you're just pulling this from some website from maybe reddit or something But anyway, nothing about the, the company itself I don't know what they do or how they extract the video the the screenshot But it does look like it did extract what was shown on that reddit page now If we go back to the reddit page, you can see here They've got deep flight one which I haven't used yet because I never got the uh, studio one plus uh, Subscription that they had I, I got off the bandwagon um, when they showed that they were starting to do that sort of thing, but and I went back to logic. But anyway, this is kind of exciting because the reason why I wanted to play devil's advocate was I really, I've been a big, you know, Studio One user in the past. I kind of, I've used it since version three. I think even before that I trialed two, but this is pretty cool how they introduced this. Again, this is available inside FL Studio and other doors like logic already. Um, but the funny thing is I went... <laughs> This is the funny thing. This is this is what I'm talking about with the the community of Studio One that just don't get it, man. They just don't get it. Anyway, this guy, he's asking, hey man, can we please? He's yelling, please, can we have stem separation? <laughs> and he said, I've been dying to, to be able to perform stem separation inside of Studio One. I hate going to other doors just for one function. Please tell me this is in the works and coming soon. And this guy. I don't even know who this guy is, but anyway, Johnny Joan Jones, the Joan Jones, says these are the kinds of features that you can't you can use a third-party plugin for or a third-party VST. And he goes, no need to integrate it into the door just because it's a trend right now. The thing in here saying, hey, you got spectral layers by Steinberg for forty-seven ninety-nine, and you can put that with ARA. And man, yeah, I can do that. And then I go to the website, and I'm like, hey, this is the the basic version. If I want pro, oh, look at that, $300. Anyway, so this guy is obviously a complete fool. I don't even know why that Studio One didn't even respond to this. And this is what, back in May 15, um, I don't know if it's this year or not. But anyway, this guy was obviously asking for it. So maybe McGregor did note down some of this stuff. Uh, whoever does the, <sighs> the features that they want to look for in the community and stuff like that. but. Nonetheless, this video showed that that was the case. So the reason for I, I guess I wanted to play devil's advocate was because I really did, you know, when I saw this, this screenshot, I was pretty blown away by the fact that that's actually going to be a feature inside of Studio One. I like the fact that they've got the splice integration. I'm not a huge user of splice um, myself, but it's kind of cool that they've got that. 
Again, that's going to be more money that people have to come up with to pay for the samples potentially if they're not uh, royalty free. But I don't know, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do with Splice as far as using that in your side of your music. But anyway, I do like where this is going. So, you know, I want to get value for money. It's not that difficult. I just literally don't want to pay for small minute increment uh, updates. So, so I just want to give you guys um, what I found here. If there's anything else you guys have found inside of um, potential updates, the future updates for Studio One Seven or any other screenshots, please share it in the comments if you have found it, or maybe a link to where it would be uh, potentially. But I'm really interested to see kind of how this ends up being and what they bring out because it does look like they're making improvements. Whether or not that's worth the 179 to be. You know in the top tier or the 149 i don't know you guys can decide that when you when you go and upgrade but i'm sure there's going to be some fanboys out there that always love the you know what they get regardless of what they don't get anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video this updated information and i'll catch you on the next one peace out